of closed loop system over open loop system. What is that? Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. that error is yeah. negligible. We get a desired output for a given input. For an open loop system, we may or we may not get the desired output. You got my point or not? This is definition is clear for open loop system and closed loop system. Clear? Further, we will also comment on some more terms after deriving the, after get acquainted with the word transfer function. You have heard this word transfer function in circuit theory also. This transfer function is a very very important word from control system point of view. I will give you the first of all definition and then as and when you will be using numericals of control system you will always come the word transfer function. Means you can take a statement that control system is nothing without transfer function and transfer function is nothing without control. control system. Is it clear? So this concept is very important. But before moving to that concept, this concept is clear or not classification. This is the major classification. Some books you will find some another classification like linear and non-linear system. Linear control system and non-linear control system. We have elaborately discussed this linearity and non-linearity principle in circuit theory also. Is it not? Can you define what is MELA? Can you define what is linear control system and what is non-linear control system? If you know the definition of linear control system, the definition of non-linear is obvious, clear. Yes, how do you define linear? One system which obeys the principle of superposition is said to be linear control system and superposition means obeying two laws the law of law of of additivity and law of homogeneity clear and this law is clear what you have to do you take system apply input x1 let his corresponding output is y1 apply input x2 let his corresponding output is y2 now apply input equal to x1 plus x2 you should get if you get an output equal to y1 plus y2 we say it is obeying the principle of additivity it is very clear or not now what is homogeneity if i am applying an input x1 and getting input y1 now if i am apply an input kx1 and I am getting output equal to ky1 then it obeys the principle of homogeneity and if a system is obeying both two laws we say system is linear as system is non-linear this is also one such classification of control system you got my point or not another classification is analog and digital control system analog and digital control system what do you mean by analog? Yes, analog. Analog means, what do you mean by analog? You are getting a continuous time data. Continuous time data means graphically to understand this, suppose this is your input or suppose this is your time and this is your corresponding input. So for all time there exist some values. Such type of system is called analog system. A continuous time signal is there in the system then we call the system is as analog system. Another come the digital. Now, in fact, we always require a continuous system. But for our simplicity, for our easiness, for more reliability, okay, we go for digital system because of the invention of the computer. Is it clear? We have 
an opportunity to get more storage is it clear less size simple in a computer we can store a large amount of data is it clear high speed repeatability high speed means you just give a formula it will perform within one second give an algorithm computer will perform within milliseconds but it will accept the data in which form zero and one that is in digital form it's clear so nowadays previously your a meter volt meter which you have seen in circuit theory lab they were of which form analog form for everywhere you will find the needle will move like this and then it will stop at a particular you say that the current is this much similar voltage needle will move like this and you will say yes now voltage is this much but in digital form you don't know what is intermittent is going it will directly display the result yeah this is 20 volt this is 100 volt this is 220 volt is it not so what actually we are doing we are converting all this continuous data into corresponding digital form zero and one form and accordingly the data are being displayed so we call such system as a digital control system if you are using digital controller in your system that is you are giving input to the system now though i have shown one system but there are in between there are lot of systems are there for processing a plant is not that simple box is there in plant there are so many parts are there and every parts get certain signal okay i am applying an input signal in continuous form but for processing my signal i will convert it into digital form and then after processing because fast processing will be done and therefore then i am feeding it to the corresponding sub part of the system and then the sub system is moving so that system became what type of system digital system you got my point this is another another classification time variant and time invariant system if in a system control system the parameters are varying with respect to time we say system is time variant system and if the parameters value remain constant we call it as an time invariant system you got my point or not okay there are lot and lot more classifications are there but in this semester we will particularly come across either closed loop system open loop system time invariant time variant system linear system and non linear system analog system and digital system you got my point there are many 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 classifications are there but we will be mainly coming through this system natural system control system artificial control system human body is a what a natural control system animal body is what natural control system now if certain thing is being made created by you by man it will be called an artificial or man made control system you got my point these all rocket launching by the isro and all this these are what man made control system for every instant there is a data monitoring is there that is being fed from the universe to the isro center and accordingly they take decision automatically what is this this is the control system you got my point or not so control system means giving input getting desired okay. after this the next concept come some terms related to the control system so today i am stopping here tomorrow we will discuss with some important terms related to the control system